have to support the face. <laughs> Carry from behind the tail. Yeah, you're touching his butthole. You oh, have sorry. to behind the tail. It's here, here. Not, not here. <laughs> 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 Hi, um, uh, my name is Andrew Wong and I'm here at uh, Aftershock to, to find a job um, because I'm still jobless. Do you, do you catch that just now? Yeah, I, I should go. Hi, um, I'm here for a job. Maybe can you guys introduce your name in? Position. Hi, I'm Marcus. I'm the uh, managing director of Aftershock PC, mm. one of the two founders. Uh, I'm Joe. I'm the creative director and co founder of Aftershock PC. Are you, are you all brothers? <laughs> Twins. Ah, no wonder. How is it like managing a company as brothers, as twin brothers? I think it's very interesting. Like, you grew along the way. Like, we used to, we used to fight all the time. All the time. Yeah, all the In time. In game or outside game? Uh, uh, everywhere. Like, everywhere. Like, uh, yeah, we used to fight all the time. When we first started having to work together, it was fight, sometimes physical even. Why? Um, cross the line, uh. Cross. We have, we have. You know, there's like between brothers or family. There's like certain lines you don't cross. You know, they always say don't work with family. It's a, it's a common yeah, yeah. saying. So I think it's not always true. You mm. either go in together and end up in a tough situation, or you go in together and you transcend. Mm. So I think for us, we, thankfully, it was a second. Uh. Um. So so why didn't you guys continue the name for uh, the monitors and standing desk? For Omni desk. You know, it's a desk that does it all. That's the word, in Omni. Mm. I thought that was a very good name. The <laughs> Omni desk yeah. can, can heal. Huh. You know, Omni Knight can, can heal. <laughs> you know, it heal. Oh. If you, you stand and exercise, then it heal your body. And Prism was, you know, it's a, it's a TV. So, mm. um, that's the, the colours. The monitors and standings are two completely separate companies. Mm. So, because they had other founders as well mm. involved, we wanted those companies to have their own entity, their own culture, their own team. So, Aftershock actually doesn't have any correlation with the other two. They run separately. You ask a lot of questions for interviewing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, are, are we interviewing you or interviewing yeah. us? <laughs> yeah. Good, good point, good point. Where do you see Aftershock in five years? Well, we're expanding regionally now. So, we recently got a building in Australia. Like, it's bigger than our office here. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, so, we see Aftershock as a regional brand mm. in the next five years and last of all we, we want to give back to the gaming community in Singapore There's so many among us that play games <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So um, Aftershock is, is still known as a very Singaporean brand Do you think that that hinders your expansion to the West? There are some challenges of course expanding overseas mm. but I would say most of the challenges lie in the supply side of things That's right. why it's challenging because you need to negotiate that portion and negotiation power only comes with economies of scale mm, I, Sorry, I didn't understand any of that The more you, the more you buy the okay. better the cost. Okay. What do you look for in potential employees? It depends on what role. Every, every interviewer has a different style. I, what I want to find out about the person is basically what their thought process is. So instead of asking them what's their relevant experience, I'll just engage them in intelligent conversation and just see how, how quick they can think on their feet. The other half of the interview will just be to find out what is their character. Are they someone that wants to come into the company because they want to find a job? At the same time, if the person is a chongster, also you want to know. Like, so you can make sure that you keep an eye on them, you can make sure that they're mm. rewarded for their efforts. Actually, why, why do you have cats? So because, no, well, like, I think, I think cats in general increase morale. Like, if you're stressed and the cat comes and rubs on you, you're like, oh. But decrease productivity also? No, actually. No. There's actually a study on this. Huh. Yeah. Like, cats in the office are a good thing. No. You want to see, see our first cat? Why, why, is, why, why, why is this cat doing here? She kind of makes work fun for me and as well mm. as everyone here. Hello, what's, what's your job here? She's what we call the CEO. The She's the CEO. Cat executive officer. Nice. Meow. <laughs> Actually, Aftershock is almost like a cat cafe. We have so many cats here. <laughs> Often when like people come in as, as for an interview, mm. right? My boss will ask them if they're allergic to cats. Because right. Kitty often comes here and like sits here on the table or... What if the cat yeah. poops on your table while you're working? No, she, she never poops on it. You sure? Yeah. This one is... Looks like carbon fibre, you know? The, the carbon fibre. I think, I think should be right. What, what else can it be? What, what do you like about working here? I think it's nice to work here because everyone's like really like chill. Like gamers in general are very chill, I feel. But... Uh, Until they lose lah. Yeah. So can you work here if you don't game? Solitaire would still come, but... Uh, Solitaire? Yeah, I think we are open to everyone who is just interested in uh, computers in general. Oh, yo. Oh, oh yo. 
Oh yeah. Oh yo 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 yo. Okay, there's there's a nice thunk. Yeah. Do you all get to play games during lunch? It depends on how how uh, heavy the workflow is, lah. Sure. Well, so you can game games. while working. I mean, I don't think it's like a official like company policy, but mm. it's more of just like if you if you need to work, you work. What are some factors that determine how fast you get promoted? I think you just give your best, really. Like if you show that you're like very passionate about your job. The bosses will immediately like mm. they will like see that they're actually really like supportive. And you need to game with them. Sometimes, yeah. Mm. Very exhausting. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love gaming. <laughs> are, are you sure it's not AR? No, I'm pretty sure it's. You sure? You sure? Yeah. yeah, you're not doing some AR, AR uh, thing. He's, he's not responding. I think it's, it's simulation. When you apply to this job, how do you stand out from the crowd? I showed them my own PC build, lah. So. Mm. This oh. is it. Why, why, why doesn't yours have the RGB? You're not a true gamer. Um, How can um, potential employees stand out from the rest of the other applicants? Now when I'm interviewing people, I try to look out for people who can handle themselves under pressure. I don't need them to understand the technology uh, like right out the bat, because that kind of thing you can teach. Mm. But like, uh, say the, the attitude to talk to people, to mm. empathize with them and kind of like, uh, you know, like make fast friends. Hello, hello, hello. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. No lah, uh, you just plug and unplug again lah. You 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 slap the, not working right? You slap the computer a few times, you know you slap slap a few times can work already. Yeah yeah yeah, thank you ah. Uh. Uh, don't use Apple ah. Uh. Okay bye bye. Uh, what's your name? What you do here? Uh, Yijie. Uh, water cooling. Basically, I do water cooling units uh. You fix the water cooler? Uh, no. I just do. I just build water cooling units and also do servicing at the same time uh. Oh. I they say you you master builder. Why? Uh. uh What's this? Is it, it is it work too stressed? That's why you need to. This is thermal paste where we put uh in between the CPU and the CPU cooler. Oh, it's not for human. It's not for human. Oh, I thought you. you I see so many strings. I thought uh, you 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 you. No, no, you, you, it's you, just it's, uh, it's to help with the what with uh, help with the after shock. Uh, why why gamer like RGB? Is it is it can increase the FPS? Uh, the <laughs> can 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 drink one or this one? Hmm? Can drink one or you try or? Got cup? I drink. Huh? You really want to drink? No 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 no. no. <laughs> thanks thanks. Hey. So, do you have any questions for us? Um, if I beat you guys in a shooter game, can I take over you guys? Uh, where are you? I can't find you. Hey, you camping? Uh? Bro, I'm, I'm... What What do you see around you? I see A. Oh, you see A? Okay, A. Okay, okay I can't okay. find you. La. If not, how to fight? Okay, okay, okay. Come, come, come. Okay, you're right, you're right. Hey, you cheat on right? You got the auto scope, right? Let's say you had teammates. How, how would you manage them? Uh, okay, so... Currently, I run the marketing team, right? So, yeah. everyone has different skill set. Everyone's good at different things. You have to build a team that complements each other. You guide them at the start. If they're good enough, you let them lead. Okay, when, when do you know that they're good enough? I mean, you... Yeah. So, there are the people who join straight away and like, like you know straight up that they're going to be really good. Yeah. And then there are guys that you know might need a bit of guidance. It depends on, on the person. I think my laptop laggy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, not bad. Eight two. Win the next one. I think you cheat. Uh. You got the. GG. Uh, it's laggy. Uh. GG, come. <sighs> no good game. <laughs> you see, twenty-seven words per minute. Try again, try again, try again. Yes! 